In this video, we'll show you how to apply rust seal to the exterior of a fuel tank. Okay, now that we have this 20 gallon gas tank sealed on the inside, we're going to coat it on the outside. We're going to start with the KBS clean. We've mixed it 10 parts water to one part cleaner. We're going to spray that on the surface. You want to get any kind of fingerprints or anything else that got on there, get all the contaminants off. And we're just going to scrub it with a scotch Bright. Should we scrub it up good? And then we're going to rinse it, and then we're going to dry it. Um, in this case, we'll just use an air hose and blow off the water. Um, and once it's bone dry, then we'll move on to step number two, which is the KBS Rust Blast. Um, and we'll be back when we start that process. Okay, we're back in. Now we're going to start the Rust Blast. And we're going to spray it on. And then we're going to scrub it up with a scotch Bright. We're going to keep it wet for a minimum of an hour. Now, you want to go ahead and just spray it liberally. Scuff it. Keep it wet. So as it starts to dry, you're going to have to recoat it and then re-scrub it. All right. And when we get done after an hour or so and we rinse it, dry it, we'll be back because then it's going to be time to spray galvanized rust seal. Okay, so we are ready to paint the outside of the gas tank. Um, we're going to spray galvanized rust seal. I'm going to let this gentleman tell you a little bit about mixing the rust seal and, uh, and how to clean the gun. Okay, first things first guys, if you can, always put a filter on. You're going to want to keep as much of that moisture out as you can. I got oh, my, there's the filter. I got my PSI set at 35 at the gun. I got my um, fan all the way open, my volume all the way open, and then my regulator at the gun all the way open. And then I adjusted my PSI with my valve here. Okay, and I thin this at 5% with a 1.4 tip. And let's, let's give it a little test here. Okay, what are you going to do in between coats? Because we know we have to give it two coats. What are you going to do with the gun in between the first and second coat? Because we're going to have to wait approximately three hours. So you are going to want to clean this gun. Uh, depending on how much is in here, you're going to want to dump that out. Or if you have the type of gun where you can leave it in the canister. But you're going to want to take your, you know, your tip out, your value control knob, Take that out, clean it real good, put it back together. That way you're good to go for next time. Okay, we're gonna turn the exhaust fan on and we're gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna show you how to spray rust seal. Do a test spray first. Okay, a nice thin, even coat. So we're going to come back and show you once we get this first coat done and we've waited uh, two to three hours, make sure it's dry to the touch and no fingerprint. Um, we're going to go ahead and give it a second coat. Thanks for taking time to watch this video. We hope you find these money-saving and time-saving tips useful. 